Today we're gonna be making some Mickey and Minnie cake shaped cake pops. If you've seen Disneyland made these recently, so I thought why not try to recreate them at home? So if you wanted to recreate them, this is the recipe for you. As always, everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this. We're gonna start by making our vanilla cake batter. You can use any recipe you like. Start by combining your butter and sugar and mixing that well. Once combined, add in one egg at a time and combine well. Don't forget to use a spatula to scrape down the bowl. And then add in your last egg and whip that well. Add in your salt and baking powder. And one cup of flour and mix that well. Again, use your spatula to scrape the bowl. Add in your vanilla extract and half of your milk. And combine that well. And then add half of your remaining flour. So you can add in another cup and mix that well. And then add the rest of your milk. Combine that all well. And then finally that last half cup of flour and mix well. I'm using a quarter sheet pan to bake this batter in. I did some butter. Placed my parchment paper and buttered that top part of it. I tend to cut my own parchment paper for my sheet pans, so whatever I have left over, I like to use for my smaller pans. You can always use flour if you don't want to use parchment paper. And then scoop out your batter. Spread it out evenly. You're just going to want to fill it about halfway. Give it a couple taps and then bake at 350 degrees. Once it's baked for about 25 to 30 minutes, let it cool. And then I cut it in four portions and crumbled the cake. As you can see here. And I used my hand mixer to combine all of this. Use your hands to break down any of the larger pieces and then start adding in some buttercream. I will leave my recipe down below for this as well. You can test your dough and if it doesn't hold its shape well, Add in a little more of the buttercream and combine that until it's smooth and it holds well together. So what I'm going to do is use this circle cookie cutter to shape my cake pops. Scooped a little bit of that dough, placed it in there, and then just slowly, carefully pushed it through. And it gave me this domed shape, as you can see. Just do that with the rest of your dough. I did split it in half and added cocoa powder to the other half. So this way I had the chocolate one for the mini ones. Same thing, used the cookie cutter, pushed it through and got that shape I needed. And then in a piping bag I placed some black candy melts to pipe out some circles for ears. Give it a little shake to even them out, get rid of bubbles, place that aside and then we're going to start dipping our cake pops. You can put the stick underneath, remove any excess candy melts. I'm working with the red for the Mickey ones. Once it hardens, you can dip it and tap the excess off. I recommend tapping on your wrist, because if you tap it directly on the bowl, you risk having your cake pop crumble. If you don't have a way to stand up your cake pops, these would be great to lay down. So here's my chocolate ones. I'm doing these for the mini ones in white candy melts. Remove the excess and then just placed it upside down on some parchment paper. The good thing is it doesn't have to look perfect on top because you will be adding colors to it. Dip it, tap the excess off. And we're going to do our Mickey ones. I got my cake pops, yellow candy melts, my non-pearl sprinkles and those ears. In a piping bag, I placed some of that yellow candy melt in it to help me do the drip effect. Got that extra candy melt I had to dip and remove the excess on top. Added my sprinkles to this. Cut a little bit of the bottom of the ears off. Just place those on top. And here's the Mickey cake. I got my chocolate cake pops, some pink candy melts in a bag, sprinkles, ears, and extra pink candy melts in a bowl. 
piped out the drip. Removed the excess. Added my sprinkles. And then place the ears on top. And repeat this with all your cake pops. And there's our mini one. Here's our final look at those cake pop and an inside look at the flavors. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with my recipes, hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to see pictures of this and everything I make, I do post on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All those links are down below as well. If you want to leave a suggestion for something else, put it in the comments down below. And until next time, stay sweet.